Mr. Hamdoun, uh, you released uh, a press release two days ago. Okay, the, uh, the report said only 25% of the world population is using the internet. What effort can be taken by government to increase internet users? You're right. Do we need to make sure that uh, internet is available to all citizens of this planet? Yeah. That broadband is available as well. We are about to reach the 5 billion mark in terms of mobile penetration in the world this year, somewhere around September. What we need is to be sure that all citizens of this planet are connected to the internet and through that to broadband. Broadband is a place where voice, video and data get together. Broadband is a place where content and infrastructure are one. In order for us to reach that, we need to be sure that all governments put in place the necessary policy and regulatory framework that is conducive to competition and more investment from private sector, that they put the necessary capacity building programs together that will also enable a, a better utilization of the infrastructure and facilities that are made in, put in place. Last but not least, government should be involved in creating content. The report also said training a sufficient number of teachers to use as these skills remain a challenge. Does that you have any training courses that can help the teachers develop the IT skills? You know, we have tied the Millennium Development Goal with ICT. This is why together ITU and UNESCO have put in place the Broadband Commission just one month ago. We are targeting September 20th of this year where we're going to review the Millennium Development Goals in New York at the United Nations. And we want to bring ICT as part of a solution. Together with UNESCO, we'll be able to use ICT to train the trainers and to train students will enable a very wide and extensive coverage of number of uh, students in the world to, to access the best education in the world without moving from their home, hometown. So that's what ITU is doing together with UNESCO. Uh, the report pointed the lack of local content. From your point of view, what the reason behind the little Arabic content on the internet? Well, as you know, local content is driven today by some of the main Latin languages, uh, French, or English, that are on the net. The, the, the dot Arab will enable um, us to, in the Arab region, to really reach out to many people who don't speak other languages. Uh, this is why internet should be open to all other types of languages so that we could really have a, a really high development of uh, local content. Without development of lo local content, you will not able to have that widespread of uh, uh, internet anyway. So therefore, there is a very important element here, a very big progress that has been made just last month by the launching of the dot .arab uh, domain name. And I hope that many other language groups will continue, will, will follow suit on that.